This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Tuesday, October 24th. The Carnival Freedom is back at sea with a new look. After the final burnt off in 2022, the ship recently went into a two-week dry dock at Navantia Shipyard in Cadiz, Spain. With a new look and new features, it departed from Barcelona yesterday for a two-week transatlantic cruise back to Port Canaveral, Florida. New additions include a Heroes Tribute Bar, a Dreams Photo Studio, an expanded casino, renovated spaces, and hopefully a better water pump. The reason for the fire at Grand Turk is still under investigation. Carnival Freedom's last dry dock was in Freeport, Bahamas in the spring of 2019. And there's an update on that world cruise that is set to depart from Istanbul on November 1st. Well, that's no longer happening. In fact, the three-year cruise by Life at Sea Cruises has faced many challenges as the company still doesn't have a ship. And some passengers are starting to squirm a little bit, having already paid over $100,000 and some even sold their homes. Now, the company informed passengers that there was a change of plans. The new departure date is on November 11th from Amsterdam. The company attributes the delay to issues with finalizing the funds transfer for the ship's purchase. CEO Kendra Holmes of Murray Cruises, which owns Life at Sea Cruises, assured that the transfer would be complete in time for the scheduled departure from Amsterdam. And starting November 20th, Disney Cruise Line will offer its Disney Band Plus wearable technology on the Disney Dream. These bands cost between $35 and $45 each and provides features like a quick room access and tap to pay using RFID technology. Currently, it's for U.S. residents only, and the bands are waterproof, rechargeable, and usable at various Disney locations around the ship. Disney plans to make it available on all ships by the end of this year. The band is already on Disney Fantasy and Disney Magic. Other cruise lines have also implemented the same type of technology, like Princess Cruises, Ocean Medellin, and Royal Caribbean's WOW Band. And cruise line stocks were up on Monday. Carnival Corporation up 1.3%, 11.38. Royal Caribbean up 1.5%, 81.28. And Norwegian up 1.5%, 13.92. If you have a lead on a story, you can send it our way. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Tuesday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today.